I'm Lawrence Okoye. I'm the structure rep on this project, Borchard Road Overcrossing. This is a, a structural bridge that was damped, that was hit by an overheight uh, truck, overheight uh, load. Uh, we are here to repair the uh, external girder was damaged and got pushed in about 18 inches from plumb. So we're here to do to perform the repair and the uh, the sub, the heat straightening expert that's doing the job is Dan Dalton. Hi, Dan. Hi, Lawrence. Can you introduce yourself. Name's Dan Dalton with uh, Dan R. Dalton Inc. And uh, we were called down here on an emergency job to do the repair for Caltrans here on the Borchard uh, overpass over Highway 101. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we're here to uh, just basically come in and do the heat straightening on it to put this girder back in place so that uh, uh, the, road, the road can actually be opened back up again uh, due to the fact that the girder was impacted by an overheight load. Yeah, we yes. are using uh, heat straightening, which is a process of using oxygen acetylene and torches and hydraulic jacks to actually repair the girder versus going in and cutting the girder out and uh, replacing the whole thing. Uh, we use uh, jacks and hydraulics or hydraulic jacks and oxygen settling to apply heat and to uh, put the girder back in place again. Uh, what types of heat do you uh, use to straighten the metal? We use different, there's, there's about three that are main ones. You use a V-heat. A V-heat okay. is usually placed on a flange that has got a, a bend in it so it's not okay. in a straight line. So we use a V on the flange primarily. Okay. It gives a direction for the girder to go. By, by putting a V on, you use the wide part of the V. So basically, whichever the V points, yeah. that's the direction that the girder is going to go. Okay. Uh, we use spot heat primarily on webs. When you have a web that's got a bulge in it, so we'll take small, oh, probably two inch diameter heats, spot heats, and we'll place those on the bulge. And then that will give, start shrinking the web, and the web will start flattening out as it cools. Okay, so uh, so you use this the spot heat is just for the for just the web? mainly for webs. That's all okay. it really does is for you webs. Just, you just put a spot. What is I mean, you get a spot of the, of the web right at the bulge. So okay. the, the the biggest bulge part of the of the web, wherever it's bulged out, you put your spot heats on, and then those spot heats will cause the web to go inward okay. and flatten out. Good. Now, what about the V? How? What? You just you start from a, a point. And you sort of find it out in a V shape? Exactly. You start okay. from a point and you come out. And the V is usually anywhere from two to three inches wide. You don't need it any wider than that. Okay. And then you it's almost just exactly like welding. You just use a, a nice weave pattern okay. until you come all the way out to the wide part of the V. And you spot it from one spot, you go wider until you get to the Until so you get to the edge of the V. Oh, awesome. And the edge of the V is yeah. actually where you always stop. Okay. So the first thing to do, you do is after you you, you see you take a look at the, at the at the damage, you determine the type of heat patterns you, you need. Exactly. You to, so you see that uh, a, a spot heat, the V, what's the other third type? A, a line heat. It's also, it's also a line heat. What do you use a line heat for? Line heat basically is just say you have a girder that's pushed way inward. Okay. Usually a line heat will go at the top between the top flange and the, the web. Okay. So flange the web okay. will go there. Also you can use it on the bottom if the flange is tipped. So then you'll use a line heat from flange to web and run a line heat across there which will help take the tip out and bring it flat. So each time you put a heat on it actually shrinks on the side that you put it on. And that's okay. the purpose of putting a spot heat or a line heat on. You don't put them on as hot because you don't want the heat to transfer through the whole thickness of the metal. You only want it to go through half of the thickness of the metal. Mm -hmm. So the one side is hotter than the inside. Okay, so after you determine the pattern to use, what's the next step? You have to, I understand you have to watch the temperature. You have to, you do, cannot go over a certain right. critical temperature. Right. V heats, uh, v heats you, you don't want to go over 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Uh, and spot heats, you don't need to go over 800 degrees. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much, uh, and that even depends. Most of the time, it's between 500 to 800 on a spot and a line. They're both about the same temperature. Okay, so you basically heat and then you cool it. 
and you allow and it to do, cool. And you do it over and over, over, and, and, over again. And then you apply jacks. Now the jacks are in there used only to assist, so it gives the girder a direction as you apply the heats. Because each time you apply a heat, when you apply a V heat on a flange, the flange wants to expand. Okay. So and you, so you use the, the jack to just from basically just like sticking it in a vise. Okay. So it won't allow that girder to expand and go the wrong direction. You want okay. it to expand and contract. The way you want it to go. Exactly. Okay. So each time it contracts, yeah. then you take the jack up again and keep that pressure on her. And that keep, process just keeps going the same thing. Each time you'll keep until, shrinking until, you it until it's perfectly flat and plumb. Okay. okay. Yeah. Do you need to use the jack all the time or? The, the, the jack doesn't have to be in there all the time it's the, it's it helps speed up the process all steel has a memory so it wants to go back into its original position no matter w what it wants to so you don't really need to use the jack you can you can use only heat you It'll can only use take longer to do exactly so you use the jack to assist you to get there a little faster exactly but the jack you, is... you only jack it while the metal is still cold once it's heated up, you don't you don't right. apply any. There's pressure. no need to uh, okay. to apply any more pressure once it's once it's, it's heated up. The heat straightening comes in play in a lot of different areas. It's just very versatile how you can use it. Oh. So you have a, quite an extensive experience doing this, huh? Yeah, I've been doing it for 25 plus years. Okay. So, um, and I've bounced everywhere. I've been all over the world. <laughs>